I think it's a, a, a terrible mistake that an entrepreneur can make to view investors as a necessary evil or uh, maybe slightly less uh, dramatically as just a source of money and that's it. I think we've really benefited more than I can describe from the partnership that we've had with people who've chosen to invest in Lyra. So some specific examples of areas where our investors have added value. I think first and foremost, um, they have a great network and we've needed it. You know, I was so fortunate in the first week that Lyra existed, we had the opportunity to have a dinner with the CEO and members of the executive team at one of the largest health plans in the country. There's no way I could have gotten close to that meeting without the contacts that our investors had and they're willing to use those contacts on our behalf. So that network has helped us to recruit people, it's helped us with customers, it's been extraordinarily valuable. I think secondly, I, investors can play an important role in pushing you as a company when you need to be pushed. You know, sometimes you get overly focused on one thing and lose track of something else. Um, sometimes your thinking uh, has a hole in it that you've, you know, either either you know about and have forgotten or you don't know about. And having a group of investors who respectfully and supportively can help you to think about um, where you might be doing better, how you can improve uh, your focus and your strategy. I know that we've benefited from that tremendously and I really look forward to getting that sort of third party review of our plans and our progress so that I can really try to understand um, where we can be doing better from someone's perspective who's not wrapped up in the minute to minute day to day challenges, which obviously just changes your perspective when you're so in the in the weeds of everything. And the third thing for me that I think has been just so valuable in terms of the investors we get to work with is they're the support I need when I, you know, just need somebody to talk to, which happens a lot. You know, trying to build a company, at least for me, has many days that are confusing and where I'm struggling to decide, should we be heading in this direction or the other one? How do I think about managing this issue that I'm struggling with? And obviously the first place I go is for my team internally, but sometimes you want an opinion from someone again, who's not wrapped up in the middle of everything and just might come at it from a different set of first principles or a different set of experiences based on what they've seen. And I feel very fortunate that in addition to meeting together as a full board, um, every few months, I'm frequently calling my board members, my investors to ask them questions about, hey, how would you think about this? You know, is this a problem you've seen before? Um, what kinds of answers have you seen work successfully at other companies? And those calls really help me to feel like uh, I have more support um, and, and they make the job a little bit less lonely at moments that otherwise you might feel a little bit alone as you struggle with something.